a wonderful day today. We are heading to the UK. I haven't been there in like, oh, it's been six, since, since 2016. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, seven years. Seven years, oh my gosh, I miss it so much. I'm not gonna get there today. I'm going to stop in DC, stay overnight there, and then my next flight's to the UK. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. We are going to go to Ireland too. And actually, we're not gonna go to London, England this time. We're going to explore some different places like Cambridge. I am going with my mom. I was originally supposed to go with Gary, but he applied for his passport back in April and it's September now and he still hasn't gotten it. Back in July, he got a letter in the mail saying, oh, we need more information. But we literally provided all the information that was required. We literally checked online to see what everything we needed to bring when we applied and we brought it, but I guess that wasn't enough for them. Uh, Gary thinks it's because he's a third. Apparently the government's stupid and they get people with the same name mixed up. <laughs> Even though there's plenty of people with the same name, I'm sure there's a bunch of Michaela Masons too. I didn't have this problem. As soon as we got that letter in July, we sent in the new information, but still nothing. So my mom decided to go instead because I really didn't want to go alone. I've never traveled alone. I've flown alone, but I've always met people whenever I got there. By the way, do you like my new hair color? It didn't exactly turn out the way that I wanted it to. This is my first time using Good Dye Young Haley Williams hair dye brand, which I was really excited about, and I don't know. This is the color None More Black, and it looks blue on camera, but it doesn't look blue in person, so I'm confused. The point was to do like a black to red fade, which is what we got, but this red actually came out darker than I wanted it to. I wanted it to be like a Kotsky themed, and this is giving more like molten lava dragon surter <laughs> type shit, which is also cool. Uh, it's not what I was going for though. I might redo the tips just to make it like a little bit brighter on the ends at least. I hate bleaching it so many times. I had to bleach the purple out twice on this side because the purple that I used, which was Genie from Unicorn Hair, yeah, that came out blue. Obviously it was purple when I dyed it, but whenever I bleached it out, it came out like this pastel blue. It was a pretty color, but it wasn't gonna work with like the rest of my hair because this was still red. So I had to bleach that twice, uh, which I hate doing. Also, speaking of new things, this is a new camera. I am vlogging with a vlogging camera, believe it or not. And I have like one of these little foldable tripods, camera tripod, like handheld tripod things. I don't know. I refuse to call it a selfie stick. I think that word's gross. How do you guys like the quality of this? Is it better than my phone? If not, I won't vlog with it anymore, but I'm gonna vlog the trip with this. I do have another vlogging camera, but I've only used it like once or twice because it's worse quality than my phone. I don't like vlogging with cameras because they're harder to hold, but this one with the stick, it's not too bad. It's a bit, it won't really, it won't all fit in my pocket. I'll have to carry my backpack around, but you know, it works and I would use my phone, I would, but I, I can't because it's literally out of storage. Like I can't film more than like a minute anymore without it saying storage full. Of course I have my big camera too that I use to film like sit down videos, but that's just, that's way too bulky. That, that would just not work. I'm going to show you the kittens before we go. Yes, I still have them. Didn't think I would have them this long. I had this trip planned for months and months before I even got them. But they're still here, so I guess that's one good thing about Gary staying home is they will get really, really good care. Of course, I would have a pet sitter if he wasn't here, but they would only come in once a day for a little while and play with them and feed them and everything. And they'd be alone for the rest of the day, which is not ideal, so this is better for them. Here's little Lena sitting in the high chair because she's a baby. You're a baby, Lena. Yes, you are. It's a little baby. It's a little baby. Oh, the blip. Oh, it's gone. Did you guys see the blip? I'm gonna miss you. You're my little baby. Oh, the love bites. The love bites. Your tummy's sticking out. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay here without me? I'll try to be okay. It's gonna be a struggle, but I'll get through it. <gasps> oh, yeah. Big yawn. <sighs> Get the camera out of my fight. No, you're so cute. <laughs> Content. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, my glasses. Yeah, so we'll the dishes now. 
Well, as good as you can. Can we have that? Thank you. So I take out all the heavy, sharper, breakable things first over the bottom shelf. Thank you. And then I let him help me with the rest. And he loves it. And I don't want to hear anyone say, oh, why are you making toddler do chores? He just sees it as being involved, except for whenever he puts things on the floor. <sighs> it's a work in progress. Have your kids and toddlers and whatever be more involved with whatever they can. Because they enjoy it. It helps them and you. Except whenever they start to try to take the rack. Okay, maybe it's more help for them, but you know what? <laughs> It'll eventually be more help for you. It's treat time! Here's Miss Delilah. Here's Genesis. This is how big they are now. You're getting pretty big. Where's Moses? Moses is still here too. Lena's being lazy. She wants me to bring the treat for her. Here. I'll put it on the little tray for you. Go on. Come on, you can't be that lazy. What do you want me to do? Put it in your mouth? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Moses. Mr. Moses, there you go. These are the ones that's left. We got Ruth too. And here's Miss Ruth. She is wearing her little recovery shirt. She got stayed almost two weeks ago. She's gonna be able to get this taken off on Tuesday. She's been doing very good. She's been healing nicely. No? Come on. But these suits are really good. I got them. I also have one in orange and one in pink. They are just tight enough to where she or her kittens cannot get to her wound, but it will not, it's not too tight to like suffocate it. Also the Pull in the butt's big enough to where it won't get any pee or poop on it. She doesn't seem to mind it at all. <laughs> I want to use instead. Yeah, I know you love these. I know you do. These wet treats actually helped her through her post-spay depression. Because she was hiding a lot the first few days. And oh my gosh, calm down. These were the only thing that made her want to come out of hiding. <laughs> Goodbye, sweetheart. I'm gonna miss you so, so much. Better be good for Dada, okay? Better. We'll be calling you and making sure. While I am at the airport, at my gate, it's right next to where all the food is. There's a burger joint or something here. There's Panera's right over there. Pretty nice. It's crazy. This is a Saturday. And this is so, like, it's usually so much busier than this. It's so empty today. Like there was no line for TSA. This is awesome. And my flight got delayed, so I still have two hours to chill. So I'm gonna grab some grub and just hang out. I could not resist. I got my usual Yupik 2 Mediterranean veggie and white mac and cheese with some chips and a green tea. Outside the airport at DC is about all I'm gonna see of it other than my hotel for a few hours. Right now, I'm just waiting on my mom to pick me up, take me to the hotel. My mom's here. Hi. <laughs> You're talking to the camera like it's a baby. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> my flight was good until because i took a nap it was good until we started to land and then some lady came by and she like tapped on my hand and be like excuse me we're landing so put up your tray i was asleep i had my my hoodie up so she just got like the turtle in the shell dirty look like <laughs> how was your drive here because you drove from PA. It's a lot closer. It was awesome. I stopped by to see a rare bird. Oh, of course. <laughs> flamingos. There's um, now flamingos in Pennsylvania. What? Yes, yes, there's two flamingos that are in 1.7 miles. Take the yeah. exit onto oh, State yeah, Route 846 East. 
and Sterling Well, Boulevard. I didn't know if, like, you know, global warming, you know, well, the that, habitats change. Well, no, that, that that has messed up a lot of the birds, um, and they are off course. That is, that does have a lot to do with it. But anyhow, there's two flamingos at an, this Amish farm near, in Franklin County, that I stopped on the way to see. There's only two of them, and you actually got to see them? Yeah. You're, you're a bird stalker, you know that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, it's by the airport and I'm only going to be able to sleep here for, what time is it? 10.57, basically 11. I have to leave at 5. So 6 hours. I'm probably not going to be able to get to sleep for at least an hour so I can settle in. So 5 hours. But the flight is also 5 hours long. I guess it works. I can sleep on the flight uncomfortably, and then we'll be getting into England at night there, at around 8 p.m. It is too late to get dinner. Probably I could order from somewhere, like delivery, but I don't want to do that because I want to get to sleep <laughs> as soon as I can, and I still want to shower. So this is my dinner, and I am very freaking excited about it. I'd rather have this than anything that's actual dinner. This is my girl dinner tonight, guys. This is an Aero Bar. They're from Canada. My mom went to Canada recently and she brought me back a bunch of these and that is freaking awesome. Thank you so much, mom. I went to Canada when I was a little girl and I've been waiting my entire life to try these again. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Heaven. This is why everybody wants to move to Canada. No, it's not because America is awful. What do you mean? What are you saying? Totally not because of that. It's for these. I just had like a ratatouille moment where that like critic comes in and he takes a bite of the ratatouille and it like sends him back to his childhood. This literally sends me back to my childhood because I haven't had these since I was a little kid. This, oh my gosh. No, I'm not even joking. Do you know like whenever you like smell a certain smell and it like brings back a certain time of your life? This brings back the Canada trips as a little kid, which I don't even think about much anymore because it was so long ago. Like. This is just making me feel things right now. I I need a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna go uh, make love with this arrow bar. Okay, so y'all don't need to see that. Bye. editing Mika here and here I am showing you around my little hotel room in Skegness, England. But okay, I have a confession to make. So this new vlogging camera that I invested in, this little camera that you see here, yeah, it's a lovely little camera, but it does happen to have one little feature on it where 
if you happen to accidentally press a button on the top of the camera that happens to be right next to the record button, it will make all of your videos in slow motion and remove the sounds. So this is why I am here right now doing this voiceover. I am very sorry. I did not realize that this was a little feature on the camera until I already started unknowingly using it. As soon as I found out about it, I stopped using it, of course. So not all of the vlogs will... Oh, there's, there's me flipping you guys off for some reason. Don't know why. I'm sure I explained it in the video, but I have no idea what I said because this was months ago. Um, living off the haters that don't want to deal with me not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I'm still learning, but I'm trying my best to give you guys good content. But anyway, there will be certain videos throughout this vlog series where I accidentally hit this and I undo it as soon as I realize, but sometimes I don't realize right away. So I have three options here. I can either do the voiceover like I'm doing now, I can put music over it instead, or I can just completely cut it out, which I'm probably going to do the third option a lot of the time because this is just too much work and editing is already hard enough. I have no idea what clips don't have audio. I'm hoping nothing important like this. This is a boring, basic ass hotel room. No one really cares about that. Unfortunately, one of the clips that I put music on earlier was of my mom not knowing what the hell she's doing in a British car. Don't worry, she's driven on the opposite side before that they drive on here in America. She knows she's been here before, but it just took her a minute to get used to the controls, understandably. But it was really funny and it's gone now, sadly. Ugh. I'm really sorry guys, thank you again for putting up with my shit as I figure out what the hell I'm doing here. Oh, I should know by now, shouldn't I? <laughs> also, I just want to thank you for putting up with the shaky vlogging that I also didn't realize I was doing at all, which I hope in the coming vlogs it's not as bad. I'm going to invest in a stabilizer, probably. Anyway, thank you. Love you, okay, back to the vlog. With that, I might call it a night and call it a vlog. I'm definitely gonna call it a night, but I don't know if I'm gonna call it a vlog because I need that sweet, sweet content. I might not have time left to fit another date in. We'll see whenever I edit this. But yeah, just so you guys know, my second flight, the long one here, seven hours, that was shitty. It wasn't too bad because, you know, they gave us a pillow and a blanket, which was Pretty nice for sleeping, I guess, but it wasn't the best sleeping experience because I yet again got woken up. <laughs> and this time it was for something even stupider than last time. They kept waking me up to give me food that I didn't even want. Some fruit and oatmeal and yogurt, which was all right. The oatmeal wasn't that good, but the fruit and yogurt was good. And then a sandwich that I really didn't want because at that point I was, I was literally sleeping. I didn't want to eat anymore. My stomach doesn't wake up at that time anyhow. They just, they forced a sandwich upon me. Like they just handed it to me and left. They, like I couldn't refuse. They ask if I want drinks or not, but no, they made me take the food and they woke me up for it. It's like, why? Why? Why do airlines have to do that? If somebody is sleeping, just let them sleep. Okay, there's literally no reason that you need to wake us up other than the plane's landing. But I think we would wake, most people would wake up when the plane lands anyhow, because it gets fucking loud. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, and also a little silver lining. I did order ginger ale because my stomach was kind of getting a little queasy and I spilled it on myself. So yeah, for the last couple hours of the plane ride, I had to sit cold in cold and wet pants. It's okay, we're here, we're queer, and I am ready to relax. I got Paisley. Well, it's Puss in Boots, but Gary named him on the Build-A-Bear birth certificate Paisley after my old orange cat I used to have Paisley. I love you, Baba. He recorded that. <laughs> so yeah, I get to sleep with him. I also sleep with Gary on the phone every night because I'm just, we're just that attached to each other. <laughs> Is that bad? I don't think it's bad. I think it's healthy. Fuck you. I don't care. Yeah, but anyway, if it's the end of the vlog, subscribe and shit. 
If it's not, um, thank you for watching either way. If it's not the end of the vlog, please keep watching. <laughs> but anyway, good night. Good night is what I'm trying to say. Good night. Hey, babe, say hi to my vlog. Hold on, I gotta do the right filter. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, wait, sexy. wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that fucking seven head. <laughs> hey, I'm Peter Griffin. Yeah. <laughs> but hey babe guess what guess what my room number is 420 <laughs> yep